I've been embarrassed to talk about the results of my graduate school applications. This was a great video about the experience of one student applying to graduate programs in mathematics. Uh, he didn't get into the top schools he applied to, uh, but there is a happy ending in that he is starting a master's program that will hopefully propel him to uh, be able to apply to PhD programs later on. And I just wanted to jump in here to, first of all, thank him for opening up about this, uh, which is really brave. Second, to congratulate him for being able to put everything into perspective the way he did. And third, actually to thank him for his channel, which is great and, and full of wonderful videos about mathematics, so you should check it out. And I wanted to stress that for those of you who may be thinking of applying to graduate school in mathematics, uh, yes, it has become very competitive, especially in the US, to apply to grad school in math, but the good news is that there are many, many excellent mathematicians working in many universities that are not at the very top of the list of schools. They are not all in the Ivy League, but they are working in universities that you might have a shot at getting into the graduate program. And if you get to work with that person, you would have a very good PhD experience, an excellent uh, thesis, and a very good chance of making your dream career in academia. I applied to a ton of PhD programs in math, I had a big ego with the universities that I applied to. Almost all of them were top, top schools. That said, I also had a big ego. And as far as I remember, I also applied to perhaps all the Ivy League schools and I didn't get into any. However, professors at my institution that I asked for advice, they suggested a wide range of schools, not just the very top Ivy League schools, but also other schools where they knew there were some very excellent mathematicians working that I would really enjoy working with in number theory. For example, they suggested that I apply to the University of Georgia, which is a very good public school, because at the time, Andrew Granville, a very famous mathematician, was working there, and it would have been a great opportunity for me to do a PhD under his supervision. I did get accepted to Georgia, but I did not accept their offer. Instead, I got accepted at Boston University, and I decided to go there, um, and I had a wonderful experience. Uh, I, my PhD advisor was phenomenal, and the PhD program, I really enjoyed it, and the students and other professors, and it was just a great step in my academic career. So in summary, look for specific professors and research groups you would like to work with, and not just the name of the institution you are trying to get to, uh, because there are many schools that may not be in your radar, but there are great, excellent people that you could work with at those places.